Previous, thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem. We are finding the possible values of x. Now from here we can rewrite this and say this is 16 raised to the power x plus 12 raised to the power x equals to 2 times 3 raised to the power 2 then raised to the power x. So we can of course separate this power by taking x out from the law of indices and uh, which can be which will become 16 raised to the power x plus 12 raised to the power x which is equal to 2 multiplied by 9 raised to the power x so let's write that 3 raised to the power 2 as 9 now then raised to the power x then from here let's divide through with 9 raised to the power x so when we divide through with 9 raised to the power x we have 16 raised to the power x over 9 raised to the power x plus 12 raised to the power x over 9 raised to the power x then this side as well over 9 raised to the power x here 9 raised to the power x we cancel each other here then from this side we have we can write 16 over 9 and bring in the power of x out also from the law of indices and similarly we have plus 12 over 9 then bringing the power of x out which is equals to 2 then inside this bracket that is 16 over 9 we can rewrite it and say this will be 4 squared over 3 squared which is raised to power x then plus inside this other bracket we can say 3 can divide the two numbers. So 3 in 12, that's 4. And 3 in 9, that's 3. That's 4 over 3 raised to the power x, which is equal to 2 on this side. Then from there, also from this bracket here, we have power of 2, power of 2. We can take it out and say this is 4 over 3 raised to the power 2 from law of indices. Then all raised to the power x. Then plus we have 4 over 3 raised to the power x which is equal to 2. And from there we can still interchange this power also from the law of indices. So when we have a raised to the power m then raised to the power n this is a raised to the power mn which can also be written as a raised to the power n then raised to the power m. So we can interchange the power there and that will give us x coming inside then 2 going out. So we have 4 over 3 raised to power x then all raised to power 2 then plus 4 over 3 all raised to power x equals to 2. So from there we can use a letter to represent 4 over 3 raised to the power x. So let u be equal to 4 over 3 raised to the power x. And then this equation will become u squared plus u equals to 2. And when we take 2 to this side, we can take 2 to this side and we have u squared plus u minus 2 which is equal to 0 so this form a quadratic equation which we can factorize and we have u square plus 2u minus u minus 2 equals 0 then from here when we group it you know factorize 2 2 here we have u out then we have u plus 2 left then in this you know other two we have minus one out we have u plus two which is equal to zero then we can write this again as so we have u minus one times u plus two equals to zero and from here we can equate each of them to zero we have u minus one equals to zero or u plus two equals to zero and here we take minus 1 there and u equals to 1 or we have u equals to minus 2 
now for the first case here that is when u equals to you know one the case one here now we have u equals to one don't forget the value of our u from here we say that our u is equals to 4 over 3 raised to the power x so when we bring that here now we have u equals to 4 over 3 raised to the power x now equals to 1 so we can solve for x here by saying remember any number raised to the power 0 is 1 so we can write you know this as 4 over 3 raised to the power x then equals to 4 over 3 raised to the power 0 because this number raised to the power 0 is 1 then the base are the same thing then we can equate the power and say x will be equal to 0 so this is a value of x here then for the case 2 where we have our u to be equal to minus 2 and that is u that is 4 over 3 raised to power x is equal to minus 2 now this in this place here we have a little challenge and here we can you know solve this one by introducing our Euler equation just to manipulate something out there so the Euler equation we have exponential pi i that's e raised to power pi i plus 1 equal to 0 and we can rewrite this by taking this plus 1 there and we have e raised to power pi i equals to minus 1 now we want to deduce minus 2 out from this side then we can multiply through by you know 2 so that we have 2 e pi i equals to minus 2 so when we multiply through by you know 2 so that means that this minus 2 here can be replaced as 2 e pi i exponential pi i then when we replace that on this side now instead of writing 2 we can write you know 2 exponential pi i where we have i as you know a complex number so this is a complex number then we can put it back there and we have 4 over 3 raised to power x we now be equals to 2 exponential pi i then remember we are solving for x and from here applying the relationship between indices and logarithm our x will then be equal to natural log of 2 exponential pi i then base 4 over 3 so that's you know trans you know transforming this one to logarithmic form and x it can be written as log 2 exponential pi i then over log 4 over 3 and uh, from there we can as well write it again and say x equals to log 2 exponential pi i divided by log 4 minus log 3 and this is another value of x from here and we have therefore come to the end of this problem thank you for joining us don't forget subscribe to this channel and then turn the notification bell on see you in the next class and bye for now